Winner gets everything, the loser gets nothing. And the first bit of action happening over towards B main immediately. Nice little counter utility coming out though from M80, holding on and finding first blood. Shock Dart does find some value here though for the offense and a huge first opener for Tex and the guard as they make their way on for sight, they get the plant. And Trent actually is trying to challenge this heavy setup for M80 right on top of the doors opening through market. M80 need to make a decision on how they want to try to break this open. Xander gets the first. Now there's information for the guard that there are two members playing inside of B main. But how do you clear this out? Someone's got to hit. EU provides the first, not the second. Now the 1v1. John Cutie playing up against Net. And well, Net is actually going to make a perfect timing commitment to get in towards uh -oh. this site. Killjoy, you need the utility to get down. Timing of this is everything. John Cutie is going to try to hold this. But the shot. Yeah, defensive like lane rate. They're only just over half on attack, but they're already off to a hot start. A little opening spam coming out for the defense. Try to control B main. And how about that from Nismo? Quality also turns the face up towards the double hit through market. Net does put together two in response, but this would have to be a 1v5 for him. And well, he's going to get completely taken by a two member stack here at mid, you would think. Paranoia gets hit. Quickly rotate over to B, which is exactly what they've been able to do. And again, the counter wow. utility has wow. been so strong. They're just keeping the guard choked at main. Net gets through, but with such amount of damage yeah. being taken away from him. And the offensive paranoia has already been spent, so this is just going to be John Cutie trying to hold his life with just, with just the entirety of the utility kit. But Tex still finds the first tap. EU trying to hold onto the site, but it's Jonah P to best him. And then the follow up not going to be there at all. Wow. Clean entry from the guard considering the circumstances. And now it's just down to Kual Newman. Well, don't sleep on him, but. Yeah, again, and maybe you're doing such a good job being aggressive on the periphery of the map against Whoa. the guard default and finding initiative. But look at this all, as you said, into window room. I feel like M80 is keen about it. Xander is just barely avoiding this frag, by the way, but does get taken down by the rifle anyhow. And so the guard get on site with advantage. And Valen does go one for one with that teleport. So it gets us to a 3v3. Nightfall at the ready gets immediately spent. Here comes M80 quickly trying to break down this post plant. They get the first two, no worries. Kualanub working on the ace. The last player's down low. Trent will find one. The guard to have to commit through mid. Valen thinking about just putting his little shadow step right on in towards the point. Xander through tree, shuts down the Aldrum, but can't contest any further. Now the counter utility from the guard as they try to set up their plan. Rolling Thunder pops out. Knives for Tex in the back line, but it's all about this action from the front at the moment. And it goes two for one in favor of M80's defense. Joe DePi, though, very well, may have to couple in his sights, and he does. Gets three in total. More going Still trying to get aggressive through B main with his operator. Prowler in the midst. Aldrone is there, but Paranoia will force M80 to get back out of this area. But the Hunter's Fury actually thrown a little bit more passively, and the jump up from Koala who follows up with the EU to go two for one in the opening exchange. And again, the guard cannot find initial entry. Lockdown will be spent. This will be the square peg meeting the round hole, unless, of course, John Cutie. And they have equal numbers, and they have some time to work things out, talk things through, work together. Fallon, though, oh, gonna get oh, caught by John down. Cutie's Odin there. And Jonah, this one, but he actually misses on a very low HP Jonah P, and all of a sudden, the spike will be collected. The fault line gets avoided. And there's actually a chance here. Ah, oh, or is there? <laughs> Koala Noob Oppenhand says, not today, friends. Last one left wow. is claustrophobically put on towards A. Sure, they'll get the spike plant. But this is a very difficult 4v5 situation. Couple of battle back moments. And this one off the quick reload. Actually, may all of a sudden wow. turn things. The knife should surely reveal this. And yeah, Kowal is going to sit here and try to see if he can catch some timing. But it's actually Nismo to stop the aggressive play from the guard deep towards A. Yeah, I think M80 are doing a good job realizing that the guard are either saving and get rolling the dice or their four spot. And so they don't want to do anything too crazy. They want to play smart and careful. But Whoa. oh, as I say that, the sheriffs are starting to come through. Net and Trent good for a couple. Banano Swarm. Extra utilities to make sure nobody peeks through that dark cover. So the spike will make its way on and it will plant. On the retake attempt, you still have one member sitting in towards market. The rest of the guard are hitting through the defensive side spawn. A bit of a reveal off Trent's utility that there is one member playing over and the taps are starting to land. The guard are pulling this one back. It's just down to one in the corner. And the Allows Trent a lot of information as far as what this post plant could look like. But the contest will not happen yet. We stay 5v5. Rolling Thunder gonna get spent here from the offensive side just to make sure this defense gets a little bit more tested. But Trent finds the first blood. Net getting another one. Walden trying to slip on through, but no, can't make any good on any good connections. So now all of a sudden the lockdown's in play. The guard haven't dropped a member yet. 5v3 situation. John Cutie can turn the fault line, then puts it away, and then the over-aggressive setup from the guard floods forward, and M80 can find. Not committed to this play to B, though. 
But the thing is, you've got the Operator Tex in position over towards A. Now, all of a sudden, M80, they're trying to re-pivot back over towards B. They may not know how deep Net has gotten through B main. There's still a chance for Valen. Maybe catch one on this cross as well, depending on how deep they go. But John left. Cutie gets the first. Spike makes its way on. No chance to stop this plant, and we're going to reset into a 4v3. Planted. And I thought they have to know that Net is in main now, just based on his utility Whoa. being triggered, but it may not matter, knowing half the battle is Tex has already found one with the knives, and that is a two-man advantage now for guard. No, they get everything. There's there, so you can easily just take the shot, fall back if need be. They can play together on site. The only issue is there's no rotation in, in place yet. So they could get overwhelmed. Could's a keyword. Yep. Nanostorm delays the hit a little bit further. Rotation on the way. Flash is coming through for Texas made as we on towards side. Nope, not gonna miss that one. Second chance, the flick not gonna quite land. Nismo's able to put him down. Net still holding deep and Trent has made his way over to Yoden. Look at the reveal coming out from the Soul Utility. Oh. Down forces him to redirect a little bit. All oh, this owl drone's gonna get a lot of intel, but the stun is gonna cause problems. They're trying to chase him, but that playing bodyguard. And again, it's the guard team play coming through for a big frag. Unbelievable. Trent sees the information, backs away, and Net does it again as Tex had no room to dash any further away. So now it's just down to Nismo. And nope, nothing there. Another Zenny flawless in the guard. Sight. He does have a little bit of utility that will be an early detection system. Defense not moving yet. Just one dark cover for Net to use. There's the contact. Net doesn't get anything. Backs up in towards hell. Paranoia does land into John Cutie. Aftershock clears out boxes. Sander, can he pop off right here, right now? Dark cover gets replaced. Net hears a lot of this. Actually gets tagged through the dark cover. Tries to work his way in. John Cutie gets the first one and they reset. Tex with a shorty out shut down. Sander's gonna get another. It's all down to Trent for a 1v2 situation. Odin in hand, one shock dart. Shock dart gets cute. Tossed out, Xander watching on the cross, oh, and Xander gets four in total of the round. A 2v4 situation turned around by M80 to strike first in map number one. What a crazy way to end it. M80 on top early and looked to be steamrolling towards the finish line, but then the guard pulls out all the stops. Little pistol round sneakiness getting up into B window already. EU back at the side. A little bit of trouble with the trailblazer. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh yeah. Stove's hot. hot. Stove's hot. <laughs> the stove's hot. Don't touch it. He didn't it's have also, a choice to. It's also sticky got, and green. Yeah, he got shoved onto it with yeah. no way to get off like a fly trap. As uh, we are going to see the guard just rolling through right now. All of them still standing. Oh. Except for Jonah P. He's finally got taken out by Koala Nuke. Good smoke, keeps him alive. Counter fault line as Tex tries to do the same thing, but Koala Noob does collect the kill. So now 3v3, Valen dashed on, and he still gets one. Goodness, Koala Noob gets the trade. Back inside the Poison Cloud, though, Trent. Very well may have done enough, and yeah, sure does. Gets a little bit of pressure over from the guard's point of view, and Nismo inside the dark cover. Two different contestants almost gets the snap to the second, but Valen provides the trade. I made he backing out of sewer just to make sure no one gets on towards the A site, but the guard, in that same instance, they've gained control of Sewer because of that backup, and they'll leave Jonah P to lurk. He's actually looking oh! for a couple, and oh! He gets a bit of a lineup. Qual Noob shuts him down, and there's still utility for John Cutie to contest over towards C. We're not gonna see really a challenge from John Cutie. He's trying to sneak out around the platform, trying to just get lucky with spam, and boy, does he! That's Viper spit down! Lockdown gets put in its place, but you can see Koala Noob is on the move over with that elimination, giving them a chance to possibly contest this post plant through C Long. Dark cover gets placed right on top of the spike. Lockdown will expire. Here comes the check. Koala Noob would have to hit a shot here immediately, but he's actually going to hop on for the defuse initially. It's John Cutie in the corner. Wait a second. Koala Noob gets this to half. John gets one. This surely cannot happen. Someone's got to hop onto it, though, and Fallon. Oh, cleans everything. Up. Yeah, exactly. So this would have to come from the front here if you're M80. Trent just staying in his poison cloud looking for someone to come through. Fault line lands, but Trent what? doesn't get seen. No one checks this tight corner. Oh my goodness, he's gonna blow this play wide open. He's gonna blow, oh, no! Blow him, snaps, finds the shot from Fallon at range. Still keeps the numbers in favor of the guard and there's no chance for John Cutie to follow up. Bro, that play from Trent 
picking up the spike and then immediately committing in. But the thing about this is the defense is actually here. Shock darts will stop Jonah P from his first attempt to plant. Xander, just before the poison cloud comes up, also finds a kill here. So hold on a second. Seekers are called out just to delay a little while longer. Tex playing deep. Here's the rolling thunder. Valen hit by this. Same can be said with Jonah P and both will drop instantaneously. Last player left is just this late lurk from Net, and he actually gets two, leaving a chance here for Tex. 1v2 situation, fault line out and all, just doesn't quite pull the trigger. Very, and that's very it. labored rotation off the site from Xander, but he will get out, avoid the detainment. And in the process, actually, Fallon gets one on the long flank. So now numbers hold with the guard's post plan. Yeah, looking quite good. He's trying to clear out Garage, but the counter trail blazer is going to slow him down from taking any space that direction. And maybe are just being held off on all fronts by the counter utility oh, here. We see a push from Xander to the Nano, but Jonah P's quick to trade it back. It doesn't even matter. Yeah. Trades are fine here. Guard have plenty of pockets. Don't have to worry about trying to hold on to weapons here. EU gets another. It'll oh. leave an opportunity here for M80 to start to play a little bit further forward, but try to break down this post plan at long. Very difficult to do, but hold on. Last EU gets another. Oh, well, now just down to Val. This will feel familiar. Yep, he gets the getting the Hunter's Fury out early. It will not land, though, onto much. Contact here over towards A. That goes the way of Tex, who gets two. Xander up high, couldn't quite find his shot, and the guard worked their way on for their plan. And you like Texas chances to get the first one, but the second one felt out of reach. It looked like a good off angle for Xander, but no, he gets both. Spike goes down. Four on three post plant hold here. They know that EU is heaven now. They have two underneath. All drone out, doesn't really able to scout out too much. Fault line does provide an opportunity to enter in. John Cutie though, the only one holding onto a rifle only gets one. With that ult, that there is a lobby oh, presence. Oh man, but wait a second. Trance coming to check. Oh, no, not check this. Looked like he was coming back. I thought maybe for a moment that Net heard something, but not the case. And it's M80 who win the first two eliminations. John Cutie trying to flush out another. The Aftershock assists. Trades to allow the guard to come back into it, though. Are you kidding me? It's a 3v5, now to a 2v2. Down will surely give them some idea that it could be. Recon Bolt does not reveal Valen. Doesn't get through the dark cover, I don't think. Nope. So that could be a critical miscue here for M80. They're still looking towards back plat, and they do take down Valen. Tex, though, now to the 1v1 as he's already found Nismo. Shock dart out, but Tex, oh! <laughs> wow. And how about it? Tex, little heat check coming through. Nets able to get first blood through the toxic stream. And how about Tex on the hunt? John Cutie will deter him from getting too far forward. Kualnu also in a pretty cheeky position deep in towards enemy lines, but does not expect Trent to come out from behind blindsides him, and now it's a 4v3 with Trent upgrading into a ghost. Although John Cutie does get us to more level terms, Sheriff shot land, so. Sure, and they also have control of the b area with that smoke that's being put down as well, the block the defensive rotation. The guard making lots of noise here. Xander knows what he's up against, but no one's half the battle. Oh, that is a key 1v1 win for Jonah P, but he does get immediately shut down. Low health pulls though for M80. Fault line comes out. Xander tries to use it as a timing check, but does not quite find it perfectly. Flash behind it, and how about it? That's depending on how much that pound of flesh was worth. That flew off, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Oh, Tex, Tex might be in a weird spot. Oh. Gets the first, surely not more, no. John Cutie gets the pinch up, but oh boy, Jonah P from behind this play. It's just a toxic screen in his way. Does he check left? left? May not matter, Valen from inside the site. We'll do pretty much everything required to hold on, and that will put the guard at 12, as Xander can do nothing through C long. Out of favor in the guard. Oh, here we go. M80, little YOLO play towards C. Paranoia right across the rolling thunder. Nobody checks Tex in the corner. He dashes across what? it. Oh my goodness. He gets up close and personal with John Cutie. Flash out, Jonah P gets a little bit side blinded though, and but it doesn't make a difference. The guard will hold on. And it's a 13-3 map two. The guard bounce back in a major way. There you go. Match. Okay. See how it goes. Opening pistol shot down through mid sands. Valen will come out on top. A little bit of help from team shots through. Guard will still also have Tex lurking in towards this backside of the A site. And how does he get the second? Quality doesn't quite catch the timing through his own smoke. 
Xander will try to get the spike to rotate over towards B, but he's going to be met here One by two defenders remaining. already ready for him. And yeah, B. clean stuff here from the guard. John Kitty, last one left in 1v5. It's just about what can you find? Yeah, without Spike in his possession and with everyone else being on the other side, there's not a whole heck of a lot that he can do. They have a pretty nice little bait and switch set up here if need be through Hookah, but it's not required. Trent will just finish the job there. So I think he said January of 2022. That's a long ways away. Blinded. Flash from Jonah P. Oh, he's got a handful blinded, but not enough apparently. M80 will still win out the first kill. That does allow them a chance to pick up Stinger. Sheriff's also in the mix here, so M80 do have the chance to fight from range. Tex gonna try to move in with the headhunter here. Nismo, oh, though, beautiful timing. shot there. Yeah. There's no follow-up allowed whatsoever. Tex will also be held in place. And this is just all about waiting out the clock here if you're M80. Tex on the way down. What? How does he get that? Plus also teleports away. Ned also getting one gives Tex a chance at this, which he does find at least point. So a bit of a Viper battle over towards Shower side while Nismo actually not gonna pop the showstopper here. And he runs right into the waiting arms of a judge. Valen also following up, takes care of Xander through shower side. So huge advantage here for the guard defensively, and they're finding weapons on top of that to make this even more formidable. Yeah, they're gonna try to quick teleport with here. the spike over to the other side. And Quality's doing a good job Power actually holding these players wall, down. Dude. And that might cause them to double the spike back. And indeed they oh, do, they're gonna come through market. Valen gonna go ahead and oh. pop Art here to flush out the Lance player. He does get the frag on the Koala. But now players. they maybe can double back again if they want to. <laughs> they sure could, but they're going to commit forward. Valen shut down. The traded orbital strikes does keep us at a 2v2. EU at a single point where the health and John Keaton will get to work trying to change that, but off through the box. Trent, big win. And actually, hold on a second. Whoa, what, what? just happened? He pulled what a happened? showstopper and then canceled yes. it? Yes, yes. So now it's time to tax for the 1v1. John Cutie will get the plant and back away off the near box through U-Haul. Still holding pretty close. There's the check and Tex will save the round. This time offense, once again, full five-man stack over towards mid. Gunner. Viper's L3. pit will defensively be used over towards B as Valen just takes a dry peek through mid connector and takes off ahead. So Xander will drop. M80 still trying to force their way forward, but as Valen takes down another. But it's no yeah. problem. There is no reason to move. Jonah P is going to try to find some timing here, though, and actually a little bit of a burst play from the guard. Goes two for two, though, so... Going to be very Arctic tough for Kwanu to do much here. He's got, able to get a smoke that might allow him to get out, but out only into the awaiting yeah. arms of Tex. It'll be A side. I mean, they're putting a lot of utility into oh, yeah. A, but they're not committing. Look, this push, though, for B. But Xander may actually catch timing on this. Yeah, catches one on the corner, but Jonah P does fight back. Flash gets popped. John Cutie on the hunt. And this is all about just isolating Jonah P, try to stop him from doing too much damage, but it may be a day late and a dollar short as he actually takes down Nismo as well. EU does slip through A, but he would have to find these two kills on rotation to make this a little bit more competitive, you think. Sniper Rifle actually catches the wall, but doesn't matter. Eight shells won't quite get there. Spam shot's also not fully gonna land, and Qualadoop will just kind of step in towards the smoke. Maybe catch one on the cross, but text of that long A area while they, again, just hold on to Hookah and maybe look to pounce on B here. Sure feels like that's gonna happen. Trademark slows down Nisbo pretty considerably. Showstopper towards Octagon, not gonna work out. Trent also teleporting through, trying to clear out the backside of Hookah, but the action really is happening more so over towards Xander's direction. He gets two lurking through A. Tex is still very healthy and on site. Catches, oh, not one off guard. I thought he had Nisbo dead to rights, but the footstep sounds allow Nismo a chance to react. One trade back from Trent, but still, this has to be a 2v4 situation. Nismo will not allow that to happen. A seven. And now it's down to Qualdub all of a sudden, trying to back away through down. mid. And he puts the stim beacon out just to try to survive a little while longer, but the shot's starting to come through for the guard. But oh, Xander picking things up through the mid cross. No worries. Three kills for him. Snake bite lineups at the ready. Trent clears out U Haul, but there's still so much the guard have to do here. And not a ton of time to do it. They will toggle the spike. That'll be enough for Xander to toss out his snake bite. Great attacking what? side from 80 for their first go on this map. What it's very, very similar to what we saw in Ascent. Did never have to really go back on the eco. So we have a quick burst here from M80 right down middle. Shut down immediately, though, by the combination of Fallon and Trent. Xander does get a trade off the action to get us to a 2v3. Poison Cloud still ready for Xander to try to block off this Heaven Cross. But the problem is this bike is just in such a tough spot to just stick to. Xander's going to give it a go, and he does get it to halfway. No one's taking any shots at this. Judge in hand for Xander. He will be seen, and, well, the threat is also known. 
little bit of pre-fire coming through. Xander just gonna pop up, throw a couple of the shots, but Trent actually collects the kill. And now all of a sudden the guard can still commit forward as John Cutie gets caught. And that's gonna lead to another very healthy post plant for the guard. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately the judge did not become the executioner there. And so it allows the floodgates to open for the guard on the site for the spike plant. And now a tie game is right around the corner, it seems. M80 defenders on A have just conceded the round. They haven't even had a chance to contest. Orbital Strike will open things up here, though, for the guard. Quality of just trying to spam, seeing if he can get lucky while the rest of the defense tries to rotate in. There are full weapons on both sides here, but look at the space that Jota P's gotten through. Denies the first bit of utility, and then Jota P finding the double turns! Oh, oh, Jota P! Paint shells follow up by Trent. And once again, John Cutie will have to just kind of sacrifice. Almost forced to play more of a safe style that they're not as pretty to. Again, there's the Trailblazer information. Oh, good counter though. Haunt comes through. Also, the follow up from Nismo works out. So we go two for one the exchange. Spike Nismo down, finding everything beat. in this round at the moment. Tex battles back for one, but Nismo goes showstopper. And, what? Oh, it doesn't actually hit Jonah P. He was inside the middle of the container. Qualadoop still finds the kill, but it's Tex for a 1v2 situation. Flash out, steps away from it, makes the contact, finds the first headhunter. No. Still on this A side, and well, if they peek this. They may get punished. Xander getting one would be fine, but EU pops through, he finds two of his own. And now it's just down to Jota P as them 80 have come to life here in the defensive half. They just keep running into these bait and switch plays on these choke points that M80 keeps setting up. I mean, last round it was Octagon that they did it. This round's on short. They just swing off each other so well. And Qual New winds up getting two operator frags with the brimstone. So to help out over towards shower side. The spike is rotating though over towards B. Seekers will be called. The defense is going to get a lot of information off of that, but they rotate almost right into the waiting arms of Jonah P. They flush him out. The isolated kill is good. Flash for John Cutie. He's going to step maybe even into this play a little while longer. Nightfall just to try to assist him, and no, will not be able to do too much. And EU tries to follow up, but the guard will battle back. 3v3 situation. Tex trying to work his way over, but it's Trent to strike first. Nismo from inside the site gets two. Now it's just down to Trent, and he will fall. Facing up against. Yep. M80 just waiting for the proper time to hit. On rotation right now is Trent, but the hit is on the way. Oh, what a molly that is. Chips away at so many health pools. Jonah P will follow up and make good on the damage. Well, EU maybe had something to say about it, but only getting two leaves this now to a 1v3 scenario for John Cutie, and Valen will not allow him to get even one of them. Is that the brim of Koala Noob has made his way all the way over towards Fountain. Nismo still gets one. The teleport gets used to come back over towards A. But the numbers are good for M80. We've got a 5v3. Yeah, they're able to get across the spike to A at the very least, but they are at a two-man disadvantage in this post plan hole. Trent, though, is aggressive oh inside heaven. And they're also playing aggressive at elbow. So there's still some I mean, ways in for guard here. Tr Trent got an orb as well. He only yep. needs one kill for showstopper. This could be unbelievably massive. Oh. Fallon, first contact, he just taps at it, no worries. Here comes the follow-up, Tex, oh, he's flashing, he finds the shot onto Xander. Oh no, not like this. All of a sudden, we're down to a 2v2. Showstopper earned for Trent. Doesn't know where to spend it yet. John Cutie on the corner, he takes down EU instead though. Now the paint shell's re-earned. Timing not gonna earn out here. John Cutie would have to hop it right now and he's not gonna be able to. Trent will technically clutch it up for the guard who take map number three and two straight overtime. What a beautiful pivot. Things were looking rough. It was a three on five, but they made the call to swap over to the opposite site. They put Trent in the crest position in heaven. So it is very possible they could three one this. Well, opening first blood will work out. Again, the pistols for the card continue to be impressive. As Tex gets one from range, then backs off very quickly. Does keep his life as the follow-up flashes are still getting a chance for M.A. to get on towards sight. Nismo will get the plant off. Forward play from John Cutie shut down, and M.A. are still trying to commit into this, trying to take away that connector play. Not fully working out, though. Now the guard have numbers. Health pull's still low for a couple of the members. Koala Noob tapping away. He gets one, maybe more. Oh, my goodness. He dashes forward, trying to get well, the pretty much full stack into control mid. And a number of others may actually consider trying to lurking around the back. The old command gets spent by Nismo. Offense makes their way over towards B. This is voluntarily given up initially by the guard, but they are trying to contest this post plant late. And, oh, there may be an opportunity for Jonah P to just slide on through. Koala Noob didn't have the angle locked up. Trades are decent, though. 
And now it's just down to the long lurk of Net, who will give away his position with a couple of spam shots over to Koala Do. EU on the close corner, they line up! Oh, oh, oh. But that up tempo play style looking to go for the attack. Oh. A pop flash peak goes wrong. Nismo finds Valen, and now Jonah P's kind of just stuck in the back of the site. Tex will try to join him in the back halls, but they're getting pressured everywhere. Oh my goodness. It's just so much utility being thrown into this back hallway. And Nisbo will eventually step in to clean up the last two remaining defenders on the site. Net, 1v3, still very doable. First shot, decent almost. Got the snap down over to EU. Awesome. Opportunities for a post plant if they can find a way to get the spike down. Oh, a timing here. Jonah P nearly caught Valen. Able to play Guardian Angel through the smoke spam. And now Jonah P comes oh, forward. Boy. Oh, the flash comes through. It's good. At least initially speaking, lockdown could oh, be a part of this point here for John Cutie, but yet you call it Trent around the back. Oh, he gets red! John Cutie sniffs it out, and now Net's stuck in the dugout. He does get away, if only just barely. The hunt is on, and Net punishes to the two away. Net gets a second. Now it's down to Xander versus Tex. 1v1 situation. Xander cues it up. It the last long enough to stop the initial contest, nor retake. We've got one member on, still in net. Nismo still trying to force himself into the plant. He will sacrifice, likely, his detainment here, but his teammates have kept him safe to this point. Wow, that's actually pretty huge. Cosmo Divide does its job just long enough as Nismo shrugs off the status effects of the detainment. Hop wow. shot lands for Tex. That's huge to shut down the potential pitch. Gold Command spent by Nismo trying to stop the utility early for the guards' retake. Can they win these gunfights at range? That's what it's going to take. Tex turning the tides. Operator is being a huge X factor. But Xander up top. He, you down low. They go back and forth. Just you down to Valen. For the 1v2, both players are low on health. And Valen will try to get this to half. Maybe even more than that, and no. Koala Noob will spam him down. Get the job done. Both teams still fully bought out. Koala Noob pops the off. Look at the aggression defensively. Oh, Tax in a little bit of trouble here. Koala Noob maybe looking for more, and he finds it. Oh my, Trent Stavish tries to touch timing, but that won't work out. Only gets the one trade. Fallon trying to create a line of the sand for this defense to get into position, but there really is no one left. Wow. And the bold aggression from M80 is going to work out here likely for round 12. It's just one of those rock, paper, scissors type situations, wasn't it? Both teams elect to fight heavily on long B early round. And both teams had the numbers there. And so it's just going to be an all out brawl. And M80 comes out on top as they so often do in those chaotic situations. That's what they pride themselves on, being a wild, aggressive team that can handle the chaos. And they can't take it in the middle. They need to check this corner. Yeah. They absolutely Here. must. And they do. Oh, oh, oh. Just a wide swing from Valen. Huge heads up play. EU though may catch a bit of timing here. A little pinch set up over the top, but the flash comes through. Xander gets pulled off. Fragment in, and Jonah P will use that as a chance what? to collect the kill and push through his fragment for a quick rotation to possibly catch someone else defensively left. through their spawn. And oh my goodness, Nismo has absolutely no idea and why would he? How could you? Yeah, how, how could <laughs> this man literally Usain bolted through his own fragment <laughs> and then gets in the back lines and shock dart using combination to make sure no one's holding on for halfway to fuse. Fallon, here comes the check. Oh, it's John Cutie, the opening double, though. Hold on a second. Oh my goodness, hold on a second. Just down to Trent. John Cutie gets to the halfway recon bolt out and a shot lands. You cannot count them out. EU sees some information, packs up very quickly. Seas will be spent here trying to lock this in place, followed by the haunt for Intel. Help on the way. Xander's in these fish stepping in right next to it. And Xander gets two. Jota does at least provide one trade. EU still alive. If not a little worse for wear, down to 70 HP. Trent trying to cut things off by playing a bit forward and towards flower side. The same was the idea for Valen. Trent finds some success on his side, but it's only marginal. Down to Jonah P. It's the first, but no. The follow up from EU from behind is good at M80. Get back on the winning side. It's gonna be a problem. Yeah. yeah. Cosmic Divide goes up. Oh, Quality actually doesn't pull the trigger on the first shot. Doesn't make a difference. Those Xander still finds know. the kill. And now, yep, they do. Full rotation back, but M80 may try to meet them around mid. You've yep. got John cutting off the rotation. He's in a good spot for this, catching one out with the knife, but nothing down. further. And now all of a sudden, the guard need oh, to make no. a choice. Is it going to be B or is it going to be A? And they've chosen incorrectly. Xander's going to catch another on knife. Quality of there trying to set up and out of the 1v1. Plant will extend the clock. Wall noob! Ho, ho, ho! First opportunity! Takes... 
Opening look. I'll turn out. Oh, bodyguard from Fallon works out. Xander holding close. Actually, the fragment is a problematic part, but oh, he gets behind the play. Oh, what a pitch setup that is. Xander getting two EU the third. And just like that, opening first blood counter to numbers with M80, but the secondary fight brings out, and it's Kuala Noob looking for an early first blood, but no, not gonna happen. Aldrone trying to follow on in. And now Trent tries to get to work, dancing with the devil. Kuala Noob slips away. Hit still on the way though, and oh, the follow from Texas, perfect. John Cutie still holding over towards Art Stairs. Can he find anything on this reopening? EU gets his utility and Prowler's gonna connect. The follow up from Nizzo from behind. Oh, they're gonna find a couple of trades. For the 3v3 we go. Jonah P, Net trying to hang on. Pinstripe goes to kill feet. Shock Dart chips away at EU, but the health pull for Net is what's most critical at the moment. Time becoming an issue. Shock Dart sent out preemptively. No one home. Start gets placed. It's a Nebula. EU tries to hang on to it, but no, it's Trent to find the final kill. It's been 471 days since the rookies made it to Reykjavik, but today is the day where veterans qualify for VCT. The Guard, your Ascension champions in the Americas region.